Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest sports cars video where I show the best fully upgraded sports cars in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check the original sports cars video, but otherwise let's see where the new Neo falls into that list. And I've got to say, this is surprising, but I guess that's kind of been a, a theme of all the Casino DLC cars. They seem to get better lap times than what you would expect from actually driving them. The Neo falls into third place in the sport class with a lap time of 1 minute 0.996, only the third car in the sport class to break that 1 minute 1 second barrier. And I, I can't see where the lap time comes from because... The Neo is one of four vehicles from this DLC that do is affected, it has the bouncy advanced handling flag so it really really isn't a very nice experience to drive, it's you know, even though the, the bounciness has been uh, reduced in effectiveness with the latest DLC, it is still there so you're still experiencing, you know, instability with the car and it just, it just seems to get the lap time. now. It seems the same sort of thing with a lot of these Casino DLC cars that obviously the, the Italia GTO is here in second place but it's most likely with the advanced handling flag changes that that will become the new number one in the sports class when I do the retesting obviously but yeah when, when you're looking at the comparison between these two cars the Pariah which is currently the number one until I do the advanced handling flag retesting and the Neo the Pariah seems to have the edge over the most of the lap but the Neo has certain areas where it just benefits from a few curbs and a few bumps here and there. And a lot of these Casino DLC cars seem to have gone completely, completely the opposite way to what they were trying to do and actually gain even more of a boost from curbs and bumps in the road, increasing their speed than what, you know, original cars used to do. So it, it's a weird one and the Neo is the second most expensive regular sports car in the game now after the Italia GTO and it's not something that I could ever recommend for 1.8 million dollars it drives really really not very nice and you know if anyone buys it you'll probably experience that it's not a very nice car to drive but it does get a pretty decent lap time you know that is pretty impressive and it seems like based on what I can see from from the various stats and the handling files Sports cars now have traction levels that supercars used to have and supercars now still have those same traction levels but they have a lot of downforce as well so it seems like old sports cars are now what sports classics cars are, old supercars are now what the top sports cars are and old super or, or, you know, new supercars are what you would expect to have from a hypercars class but they don't, you know, switch the classes around or make new classes. Honestly, some of the new sports cars like Pariah, Itali GTO, the Neo, these are what you would consider in back in the day to be misclassified. They should be in the supers class instead because these are supercar levels of lap times, but the whole game has moved on now and we've got crazy cars that are going to be breaking, you know, 58 second laps in the supers class and the sports class has moved on with that too with you know, this is the new breed and the new kind of lap times and old sports cars that get the old style of lap times they're not going to be you know on the pace anymore so we will have the top speed testing for this video later today as well but that's pretty much it for this video consider supporting on patreon or become a youtube member if you want to get testing results early and remember to read the description for more info comment with your thoughts like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful and subscribe for more thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.